Welcome to Midnight Marie, where my hair goes wild and crazy. I want to do a thing. I'm going to do part of it tonight and the other part tomorrow. By the blue light of my computer, I will tell you. These are my hands, and these are my gigantic knuckles. I have knockers for knuckles, and I feel like my hands are made of knuckles. They're just clunky knuckles. It could have been my nickname in high school. And I have the longest fingers I've personally ever seen. I accidentally smacked myself with my own hands because I'm astounded at the length of my fingers. They're also double jointed and hyper flexible. Can you know it? But that's not the point. One time in seventh grade, somebody called me Sequest Fingers. I think it was a very short term lived show about aqua people with webbed hands. I'm not sure, but I remember the sentiment. What the hell are you talking about, Marie? Here's the deal. My beautiful, lovely, wonderful engagement ring that my precious darling husband gave to me 11 years ago always looks better on everybody else's hand. I don't know what it is, but one point my friend Carly and I, sister wife Carly, we swapped rings because I always admire her ring so much on her finger. And when she put my ring on her hand, I couldn't stop staring at it. It looks so pretty, but on my hand, it just gets lost in the clunky nooks. So one day when I was going through stuff that my mom left me, I found this old ring that she gave me when I was in middle school. It's so like early 90s. It's got a giant purple sapphire in the center of it and then like some, hold on, let me get it. I'll show you. Keep it in this pretty little treasure box where I also keep my favorite bracelet ever. Oh, whoops. Okay, maybe I should organize my things. But look, Scarlett made this for me and I really, I just adore it. This is my Aunt Lynn. She gets to be in the box. And my actual wedding set is in here too, but it's not clean and pretty. If you want to see a picture of it, I will link a picture of it to my Instagram. I'll take a clean and pretty picture of it there. There it is. This ring was my mom's. She gave it to me when I was like 11. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, it's real. And I thought that all gemstones possessed magical powers and they were stronger than anything else in the world. Cause you hear about how diamonds can cut glass and everything. So I used to literally like punch metal poles to prove the amazing strength of my ring. And if you noticed that it's totally dirty right now, but the amethyst is cracked and chipped and the diamonds are missing. And when she gave this to me, she gave it to me as sort of like a promise ring. It was something she already owned that she passed down to me, but she gave it to me and she said, Marie, Amethysts represent innocence and diamonds represent purity. So I was 11 and I think she was like, here's a ring I don't really want to wear anymore. You'll think it's precious. Here's a story behind it. Wear it with joy. And I did. And I punched metal poles. And then I came home one day and I said, Ma, I cracked my innocence and I lost my purity. Anyway, recently stumbled across this, put it on my hand for, you know, the mems. And I was like, wait a minute. That size and shape does not look nearly as dwarfed by my clunky knucks. I like the way it looked on my hands with all my over gesturing. And so now I wear it sometimes. And people ask me, Marie, what is that ring? And then I have to tell them the whole story about punching poles and innocence and purity lost. The computer light turned off and it was much better. Let's, could you sleep? That's a good idea. Is that light better? That, that light's better, right? Less blue. Okay. I went on Amazon. I look for cheapo rings in sort of similar size just to wear for fun because I like to switch things up. Sometimes I like to wear costume jewelry and then when I put my actual wedding set back on, it's like I'm gifted it all over again for the first time. So I think it's fun to switch things around. What I learned is the rings that were close in shape and size but were made to be like CZ engagement rings were all Meghan Markle duplicates. Maybe she has clunky necks and was looking for something that would flatter her fingers. Who knows? Then I heard about an experiment where you could bake a CZ ring and it's supposed to make it look like it has more depth of color to the facet so it looks more like a real diamond. And I thought, I'm gonna try that. I tried to look up some tutorials and things and these women are like astonished at the difference. And if you ask me in the videos I saw, they look exactly the same. They don't look different at all. So for my experiment, I decided to buy two Meghan Markle dupe rings. Here they are. If you are interested, I will put the links below. They're slightly different. This one here is, it says that it's cushion cut, but it's actually a, like a checkerboard cut and it's a more square, but still real sparkle and pretty. I really like them. And then this one says that it's a true cushion cut, but it's definitely more oblong. So there's the rings. Let's see if we can get closer. Come on camera, do me right. I think they got a pretty good sparkle, especially in this low light here. I'll show you what it looks like on my finger. See, like, 
it's silly that I'm like, oh my goodness, all it took, it was like seven carrots to make it look good on my finger. Of course, giant sparkly things are pretty Marie, but you know what I mean? It just sort of suits my, my clod hopper hands. I think these are from two different sellers. I'm a size seven and both of these are a size seven and this one's much looser. It's a bit big size seven, which is a bummer because I think that I like this one the best. It's the one that's supposedly a true cushion cut. So because it's my favorite, we're gonna attempt the science experiment on this one, but then we will have an actual CZ ring to compare it to because right now they're pretty identical, just slightly different cuts. Now the problem is you're supposed to bake them for like anywhere from two to five hours and I'm not gonna stay up and do that right now. So we'll do the baking part tomorrow, but my family's gonna be running around, it'll be noisy. I thought we would do all of our little chit chatty part tonight. And we can watch some tutorials tonight. So right now we are going to learn how to bake these rings. These ladies in these videos that have done it, they are like astonished by the result. So every, I have seen a lot of people talking about taking their CZ rings um, and. I'm looking at a high chair, chicken curtains, and a chicken centerpiece of sorts. There's no lady, there's no ring. Here, you can see what I'm saying. Baking them? I have not tried that yet. I'm gonna keep watching. I assume I'm gonna see more than chickens at some point. On a uh, pie pan, three hours. Three hours. 350 degrees. 350. And you take it okay, out. Okay, I got it, I got it. Thank you, Susan. I don't think her name's actually Susan. Okay, Susan says 350, three hours, Start with a cold oven, end with a cold oven. And she said put it in a pie pan. Like what, does it need to be a disposable pie pan? Can I use a ceramic pie pan? We're fact checking Susan with Gladys. Her name's not Gladys. And these rings are good decoy rings. So if you want to go out with your girlfriend. Decoy ring. Getting on your nerves. Don't get on her nerves. nerves. I will link the two videos that I found in all of existence on how to do this below. But she's definitely using a disposable pie pan and I am a rule follower, so I think I'm gonna have to go out and get one tomorrow. I just wanna do a good job. Just like Susan, she washed the ring ahead of time. She's using a toothbrush, really scrubbing it. Scrubs it for more than a minute in the video. We're skipping ahead. She's still going. Oh, she put water in the bottom of her pie pan. I noticed in the comments of Susan's video, it specifically said, do not put water in the bottom of the pie pan. Five hours, I don't wanna bake it that long. How high? Um, but I'll bake it maybe two or three hours. Okay, same as Susan. Where's the temperature? Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in the oven. You have to cool it in the oven. Got it. Once the oven is cool, then you can take it out and see what it looks like. I'm with you, so with I you. will be back in two or three hours. What temperature, Gladys? I'm putting it to three, no, 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 I'm gonna put it to 400 degrees. Oh, she went higher. That the ring is only, it was 799, but. She got a deal. With the shipping and everything. Oh. It was $14.99. It looks exactly the same. I mean, I can't really tell because her camera is super blurry, but we're gonna go back to Susan and see how Susan's turned out. I'm sorry, Susan, it was okay, a great tutorial, but I don't see it. I'm gonna learn what these women's actual names are and I'm gonna put them in the comments, I'm sorry. And it felt like spending my midnight with Susan and Gladys. Speaking of rings, can we go on a little sidebar for a second? I'm gonna, I'm spilling some imaginary tea that I've created in my head. Are you guys Jenna Marbles fans? She's my all time favorite YouTuber ever, has been since the beginning of time. I think she's only getting better with age. I could watch her talk about plants for two hours straight, not just 36 minutes or however long it was. She is the ultimate genius troll of the internet, right? I think that she is trolling us with her relationship. I think that she's already married. And I think that she chooses thumbnails where she's gesturing like this on purpose. Do you notice there are rings on that finger? I freeze froze it when I was watching it to look closely at the rings and they are not at all traditional wedding rings. They look like just Jenna Fun rings, but I still think the fact that they chose this as the thumbnail is a part of them trolling us. I think Jenna and Julian are already married and I think what they're gonna do is like two years from now, 17 months from now, somewhere along the line in one of her back alleys of social media, like her other avenues, like Twitch stream or something, Someone's gonna ask the question, when are you and Julian gonna get married again? Which I'm sure she gets asked at least a couple of thousand times per video. And she's gonna answer it and say, 
two years ago and then we'll all be like what we didn't know and you'll come back to this video and you'll I knew that's what I think mark it she's posing with the plant like this in a thumbnail I don't know Jenna I don't know I really hope they are married though I just love them so much I think they're so cute and Ryan is a lot like Julian when the camera's not on Julian making Jenna laugh through goofery and immaturity all day long every day all day that's my love story too it's nice okay I think I'm gonna go with the no water in the pie pan method because Gladys not Gladys had some trouble with her metal afterwards it, she said it looked all mucked up and she had to really scuff at it and stuff so that might have been from water spots or water damage or something like that. So Susan, not Susan's our gal. I'm going to bed now. I'm gonna take off both of these rings. Maybe I will wear my mama ring in tribute. What's, see, I, this is, I can't, ugh. Ryan, that's what Ryan had to work with on our wedding day, just shoving it over a boulder mid finger. Some girls got big butts, some girls got big boobs. I got big knucks. That's all, it's 103 now. I go to bed. Good night, see you tomorrow. She's a wizard, Ari. Wow, being upside down makes my eyes look really green. Good morning. I bet you didn't know I was a magical woman wizard in the morning. Sadie is playing right here. You'll probably hear mommy 150 times because she's very delighted and wants to show me everything in the world as she experiences it for the first time. One. Mommy. Look at this preciousness coming in for a morning visit. Okay, bye, good chat. Okay, I wanna get this done before I have to go pick up the boys from preschool. So here's the ring we decided to bake. It's the one with the thicker band and the square checkerboard cut stone. I got a cold tip, I got my toothbrush, let's wash it. We're gonna clean the other one too so that they have the same starting point. A little scrubby dubby. Yeah, baby girl. Yeah, you see a buck buck? Oh, that's so pretty. Top one's washed, bottom one's not. I can kind of see it, I think. Either not a Susan or not a Gladys made a big deal about the fact that it could not be touched with human hands. I think it was not a Susan. So I wanna make sure that I don't leave any human remains on this ring. Okay, they're both all washed up. The um, checkerboard one seems to catch like more dark light in the facets. Dark light doesn't really make sense, but you see what I'm saying. We're gonna put this one in the pie pan and we're gonna set our control in a glass encased cabinet out of the way of dust and tiny fingers from children knocking things over. Listen to those birds out there. I love it here. Into a cold oven she goes. I think that not a Susan said 350, right? I'm dressed for the day. Gonna go pick up the boys. Quickie update though. It does smell a little like plastic is melting. So I think I'm gonna need to turn on the vent. I feel like I should name these two rings after the Nada ladies. We'll see. I mean, if, the, if it melts, maybe not. It's not really a nice like homage to her, but if it all works out, we'll see. You found a Sadie spot to sit? Yes. I like your mismatchy sockies. She put her socks and her shoes on all by herself. Okay, we hit the halfway mark. We're gonna put it in for two and a half more hours, so we'll do four and a half hours total. While we wait, I'm gonna edit the video that you're watching right now. Good use of time, Marie. Thanks. Okay, it's now dinner time. I completely let it cool in the tin, and here we are. I can already tell that the gold has been ruined. Let's take it to daylight. The band is definitely tarnished. It looks like the copper is being completely revealed below and some parts are a little bit less shiny than others. There's a little bit of like a, it doesn't feel rough, but it doesn't feel like silky smooth either. But as far as the stones go, let's go grab our control ring and see how it compares. What do we think? When I was editing the video while I was waiting for it to bake, I did notice in the video I could see a slightly warmer tinge to the um, CZ on this square ring, but this one now is looking more blue to me, and it didn't look blue before. Definitely more blue. I don't hate it though. Do you guys think it looks more realistic? I'm not gonna say it's a gigantic difference, but I do think that this one this one looks a little bit glassier than this one does now. It's 
not gonna catch you from across a crowded room, but I can see the difference. I wonder how much I'm gonna hate the metal being tarnished like that, or if it's just gonna get worse with wear. This ring with the thinner band, the seller on Amazon kind of touts the fact that it's been like plated several times over, and so it's not supposed to wear, whereas this one didn't say that. So I'm interested to see if this one would tarnish if I baked it. I noticed at the halfway point at even two hours that it already happened, so I don't think it's from over baking. You can see it in the clip. Do you think it's worth it? I'm gonna take some pictures as the weeks go on and see if the band tarnishes or wears away anymore, and I'll post updates on Instagram. That's it, guys. Thanks for playing with me. It's gonna be fun to wear them in different lights and see if I can tell any difference at all. If you're interested in these rings, I will link them below. I feel like I have to gesture with everything showing my rings. If you're interested in these rings, I will link them below. And we're done. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I'm going to be commenting with the first like couple of handfuls of people that leave me comments down below. I want to be engaged in the conversation right away. So if you're one of those people, we can start the conversation about whatever you want. It doesn't have to be about rings. It doesn't matter to me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.